I guess the start of my love for cars came from my dad taking me to hot rod shows and kit car shows um, when I was a kid really. Um, just always loved the, the sounds and the smells and really just being around cars has, has always been a part of my life so it was only natural to end up where I am. I wanted to make as much as I could on the car because it felt like it was it was my car then. It's, it's quite easy to go out and, and buy a lot of parts off the shelf, but it ends up being a bit of a cookie cut car when you see others next to it. And if I've got the parts and the skills to make these these parts myself, then I was all for doing it. I've had a pretty varied car history in my in my life. Um, started out mainly in water-cooled VWs and things like that um, as daily drivers. It was only when I got to a point where I could afford to have a second car that I really looked into going for the, the hot rod that I always wanted. And um, yeah, sort of, it's draw, I've drawn ideas from everywhere that I've, I've been as far as cars go, um, and it's culminating in this really. awful to drive if I'm honest. <laughs> it drives like a 1930s car which I guess is in the spirit of the hot rodding vibe. Um, it's noisy, it's loud, it's shaky, it's vibrating, it's smelly but part of me loves that every time I drive it because it's so different than a day-to-day -day, you know, average car. It gets some interesting reactions. A lot of people uh, are sort of pointing and and smiling and I guess quite shocked by its appearance. I think what drew me to hot rods in the first instance was there wasn't necessarily as many rules as as other car scenes. It was acceptable to pull parts from all over the place and all different manufacturers and models and making sometimes making do with what you had and, and Learning to do things yourself, I think that's what was at the heart of hot rodding, that's what sort of drew me to it. I do feel a part of the Volks rod scene. Um, it can be a bit fixed in its ways sometimes with a certain look. There's quite a, a tendency towards a roof chop, and, and I felt like I'd go in a little bit different direction to that. I did like the look of the East Coast style hot rods with the, the unchopped roof with a heavy body section. The beginning of hot rodding started at the end of World War II. Um, a lot of these guys coming back from the war, a lot of them were fighter pilots and whatnot, and they were looking for that buzz again. They drew on their, their skills from working on aircraft and things like that and, and hopped up these cars that they, they had and what was around and combined parts from aircraft if they could get hold of them and things like that because they knew what they were doing with them. Um, I think in some ways the two go hand in hand, the engineering aspects of it just really meet with, with hot rods and, and planes.